Hello, my name's Toby Davidson and I'm the Toby of the Toby brand. Welcome. What we're going to do today is just explain to you the fundamentals of cooking greens, why we did it and how to use it in your household and keep it real simple. So on our website, we have what's called the Everyday Cooking Greens Recipe. It's basically the mothership, the core fundamental recipe for thousands of different other recipes. It can be used as an ingredient, what we're gonna show you, or it can be used as a side dish. But it's very, very simple to prepare and that's what we're gonna demonstrate right now. So I'm gonna go into the freezer and I'm gonna take you through the process of making the Everyday Cooking Greens recipe. What we're gonna to prepare today is the designer's mix. The designer's mix is a blend of five different vegetables. So all we simply have to do is put in the main ingredients. Turn your skillet on, put your uh, fry pan on, whatever you're using. There's many different ways to cook cooking greens, but this is one that really brings out the flavor and is fundamental to many, many recipes. Add a about a half a cup of olive oil. And I like to use fresh garlic or Toppets garlic, which is the frozen cubes. It kind of has the same convenient sensibility as the cooking greens because they're frozen cubes. You simply just pop them out. And if they don't come out because they're a little bit thawed, you just simply just pop them out. And I use about three cubes or three cloves per half bag to really get that garlic uh, sensory going. And then just heat it up, turn it down a little bit because it is frozen, it tends to splat a bit. If you have one of these guards, you might want to use one of these at this point or turn it down. Next thing you do, it's very simple. You go from freezer to recipe. After you've done that simple step, you simply cut it and you pour as much as you need, as much as you want to cook. Because of the amount of olive oil we put in, we will use half a bag or 250 grams of the designer's mix. About half a bag. In theory, the recipe's done. All you have to do now is cook it. You have to get it to the internal temperature of 170 degrees until the greens are soft and luscious and have no more cold spots. Once that's done, you can do so many more things with these, this base recipe. But what we like to do, and it's part of the everyday cooking recipe, is once this is cooked, it takes about 10 to 12 minutes, we add some very simple other ingredients to really take the sensory up. We add some sea salt, because salt always helps get these dark leafy greens tasting better, and I really recommend sea salt. And the other thing that we like to add, to add a little bit of color and a little bit of salt and texture, are sun-dried tomatoes. Again, optional, but we find that it really helps with the overall recipe, but it, again, is optional. And then the last layer of flavor, you can add it on individually or put it right into the skillet, depends on what you like, is to top it off with a little shaved Parmesan. I, you can use Grana Panano or you can use a Reggiano Parmesan. I say use the real thing. It has great flavor. And that's it. It gives it lots of that extra little Mediterranean flair. Give it a good stir. And then we'll be right back and we'll dish it out for you. So as you can see, it only took about 10 to 12 minutes to get these luscious designer mix with some added sun-dried tomatoes and a little bit of Parmesan ready to serve into a recipe. You can throw this into your pasta, into a quiche, into a lasagna, into your frittata. It's endless. You mix it with some tofu, some chicken, some noodles. You have a dinner. You have, uh, uh, and then you can chill it and have it the next day with a vinaigrette. So just to highlight the products, they, they all work the same way, is spinach, chopped spinach, the designer's mix, which we're doing right now, and we also have chopped rapini, and of course, chopped kale. Kale is very on trend, extremely high in antioxidants, as are all the other ones as well. So what we're gonna do now is show you how beautiful this will look in a serving, in a serving platter. And as you can see, such a simple recipe turned this dish into restaurant quality. Well, your guests will love it. And if you wanted to do lots of other things with it, just it's, leave it up to your imagination. And the kids will absolutely, absolutely adore it because of all the flavor and, and your moms are gonna like it because of the nutrition. So look at that, look how beautiful that looks. So there you go, in less than 10 minutes, we have a beautiful side dish or an ingredient for many, many different recipes. Again, at www.cookinggreens.com, the everyday cooking recipe. Enjoy.